Have you ever been a sound person on set and they're now coming to you going, hey, by the way, we're gonna be setting up multiple cameras and you're like, uh, what do I do? Well, Sarah and I are gonna answer that question and many more on this episode of Mailbag. Sean Bissonnette asks, what is the best kind of microphone to use when you're shooting in a location where it is very echoey, but you're not able to set up anything to reduce the echo? You're gonna wanna use a dynamic microphone. Their design is less sensitive than, say, a condenser. They pick up less of those unwanted sound waves. And this can only do so much, though, and locks you into one type of microphone. How do you deal with booming shots with more than two cameras, especially if one of the cameras is very wide and you can't get a plant mic in? This very situation is why lobs are used on set is when the boom can't get close to the source of the audio, in your case, the dialogue. Uh, what you can do though, if you must boom it, is you can shoot close-ups, get your boom in super close, and then take the words from that section and put it into the mouth of those wide shots. Now that is gonna require some post-production knowledge and processing, so it's a little bit more time and a little bit more expense, but if you have lobs, that's where you use them. Simon Valga 1270 asks, what's the secret for the best room tones? Tell the grips to pipe down. Just kidding. Not really. The grip department loves a good negging. They'll be fine. Communicate your needs with the first AD so they know to schedule room tone capture between setups. Use the same mic in the same part of the room with the same amount of bodies in it. All of this will contribute to a matching room tone. At the top of this 30 second recording, say room tone so the editor knows what they're hearing and finally, keep track of it on your sound report so you know you got it. Is it better to increase the gain on a microphone or the preamp of a camera when the signal is too low? And the answer is simple, the microphone. It was designed by the microphone maker to work in tandem with that microphone. And if you look at a lot of small body cameras, especially mirrorless bodies, there are still some cameras on the market today being sold that have very hissy, noisy preamps. So always go with the one that is on the microphone. Alexander Mortimer asks, what methods are there to make amateurs feel and look relaxed when delivering pieces to the camera? There is an impulse to treat every set as professional and polished as possible, but this can be intimidating for someone who's unfamiliar with that. Rather than telling them what you need, treat it as a conversation. Talk about ideas and the reasons why the person is saying what they're saying. This will take their focus from remembering what words to say and will hopefully come off natural and genuine. Nervousness comes from the feeling of lack of control or potential failure. Give them the space and time to find their own comfort zone. Well guys, it's today's sponsor for this video and I just wanna thank DD Microphones. People who are providing us free v mic D4s to give away on this channel, DD Microphones. If you want to win a free v mic D4, drop a comment down in that section below and ask us a question that you're having about audio. Those people are going to win free microphones from our sponsor, DD Microphones.